Hey, I'm Alexandra, owner and founder of Mama and Roo's, mama-roo.com, baby wearing, baby carriers. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to modify your wrap strap medi to fit a slightly smaller baby. So because this is a lot of sort of wrap fabric um, and it's pretty flexible and pretty versatile, it's really a nice option for a lot of caregivers. But sometimes our baby is just a little bit too small for the width or the height. And so we know that because we wanna make sure that our baby is supported from knee to knee so their legs aren't like sticking straight out, right? That's not good support, their legs should swing freely. And we wanna make sure a newborn is able to kind of be supported in a nice um, C shape. And so wrap, um, woven wraps um, work really well um, for this. And this is very similar to a woven wrap, just with a little bit more structure panel. So oftentimes we can do small modifications if we're comfortable um, to get a good fit. So width, we want to be knee to knee, we want baby to be supported in that C, and we also want to make sure the panel height doesn't go above the base of the ear. So we want to make sure it's high enough so that the neck is supported adequately um, for a little baby, and we also don't want it to go too high so that it's an asphyxiation, asphyxiation risk. Uh, we also want to make sure that we can still get baby up high enough to monitor their breathing, close enough to kiss is a good uh, rule of thumb. So let's take a look and see what we can do um, to, to handle this. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, this is my uh, Lenny Lamb brand wrap strap medi um, that we have in our shop. This is the mini size, so the smaller size for smaller children. Um, and I'm gonna show you a couple tricks uh, for the width and height to get them a little bit smaller. So um, for this carrier, this is actually reversible. So this particular pattern is the same on both sides, uh, but were you to have one of our jacquard weaves, for example, um, oftentimes the back can be a different color, which is really cool. Um, so, but you could do it either side and you can also do it um, with an apron style waist. So for example, that would be um, tie like this. And then we put baby in, just as an example, put baby in and we go like that. So as you can see, when we do that, there's no like sort of big waistband here underneath. So it's a great hack to get like an apron style without a particular apron style. <clears throat> we can also tie it We can also tie it like this. So it's got that waist there and tie. And of course we would double knot for an actual child to finish that, just a demonstration quick. Put baby in that panel. And then now you can see that difference where we've got that waistband there. So that's up to you, but this is um, variable. You can use it kind of as you are comfortable. So either way though, um, oftentimes it's gonna be too high for a newborn. So what I recommend is that we just roll the panel um, to get it to the right height. And usually it doesn't take that much rolling. Uh, if it's pretty floppy and broken, and it might be a little bit more just because it's a little bit softer. Um, so, um, but you can kind of decide, um, imagine how you would put baby in. So if I would put baby in like this, I can kind of just do one flip. So you see how I just, this is the waistband here. And I just kind of did a roll. Okay, so now I've got that shorter panel, um, and <clears throat> and now I'm going to put it around my waist, about where I think baby's bottom should be to keep them close enough to kiss, and I'm going to double knot, okay? So now that I've got that rolled up, I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, a little extra piece of fabric so you could use a small towel i like this scrap of wrap fabric just because i feel like uh it's you know it's made for made for wearing babies and it's um it's really kind of smooth and small uh, and not going to really get in the way so i kind of like that and what we can do is we can take go around the, the panel and we pull around it oh my goodness got some extra threads though <laughs> so i wouldn't use this one for a baby without hemming it but um, I would kind of pull around the edge of the panel and tie, and we can always sort of adjust that later, okay? So I'm just going to tie that right now um, just to get a, a, you know, a start of a smaller panel and see what happens when we put baby in. So I'm going to get my baby, always supporting, put them in the panel, and I'm going to take a look at the fit and how we're doing, okay? 
So let's just kind of get baby set up because panel height can kind of modify, especially in this style of carrier. And we really want to make sure that we're doing it safely. So sometimes it's kind of best to set it up, take a look. If you need to modify again, just go ahead and take baby out and you kind of know where, where to modify. So down and across. Okay. Always supporting baby. That's why you see I'm sort of shifting my weight. Always get supporting baby. And take this side over the shoulder. This is not the only way you can do this, but it's often the simplest way to start. Down, when we go down, okay, one way to get rid of some of that excess um, sort of panel um, looseness to make sure that we're really getting the right height. Um, lift baby's bum up slightly as we pull down. That's really gonna help us to get any extra slack out. Okay, and we cross our body, bringing to the front. So I'm gonna do a quick check before we start tying things off and kind of see where we are. So I'm going to get this a little more comfortable in my shoulder. I'll take a look at what's going on here. I'll take a look at the seat. Okay, so it looks like that might be a little bit too tight here. So I'm just going to loosen this. All right. Get that knee to knee support. Get baby in that C curve. I'm going to retie that so that that Panel doesn't move. We're gonna check, 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 move baby around, get baby positioned well. And then we're gonna assess what to do from there. So there's a lot of extra slack here. I'm gonna make sure that I get that. <laughs> okay, so I just found that in this cross pass. I'm gonna bring it out over to the front, make sure that I don't <coughs> mess that up. And then do the same thing with the other side. So we get that. Fabric, so I'm just kind of feeling for that rail. See there, feeling for that rail, making sure that I'm gonna catch that extra fabric. And you see how that moves. So it is a process to get that extra slack out and make sure baby's fully supported, okay? So I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting one at a time. Bring this around the front. Bring this around. I'm gonna put it under baby's legs for a little bit of extra support and tie off. Okay, now when I do all of that, <laughs> when I do all of that, to me, that still looks like baby's head is being covered. So what I would do, I would go back, I would start over and I would roll the waist again. So, but that's the idea, that's how you modify it, that's how you do um, a newborn um, modification in at carrier, you do not want this, that's too high, so we would start over. But I wanted to show you how important it is because if you could see how that height changed, it really changes as you're adjusting baby, it's very fluid. So this is something to do if you feel really comfortable with those modifications. Um, they are simple, they are safe, but it does take practice to get right. Um, so I hope that that is helpful and definitely check us out for more.